So there is actually a non-hormonal option to help treat heavy menstrual bleeding. Often in the past, we've recommended potential hormonal options, which come with their potential number of side effects. And so there's actually non-hormonal options. It's called tranexamic acid. Let's talk about it in this video. My name is Eric Schmidt. I'm a board certified OBGYN, minimally invasive gynecologic surgeon. Let's talk about tranexamic acid and how I've seen it help so many of my patients. Now we've accumulated a fair number of videos that talk about a few of the different reasons why somebody has abnormal heavy bleeding, whether this is fibroids, whether it's adenomyosis, whether it's um, other causes like um, perimenopause, or um, if somebody's younger and the, the, the um, communication to the uterus just hasn't fully developed yet. Um, all these scenarios can cause heavy bleeding, including other things like bleeding disorders. And so all these things can cause heavy bleeding. And so um, there is actually one non-hormonal option that actually is pretty good at treating almost all these scenarios. It's called tranexamic acid. It's a relatively newer medication. It's been around for a while, but uh, as far as the use in gynecology, relatively new, which is fun and exciting. So when that body is making a clot, it's, it's pulling together fibrin, which is making it so that the bleeding hopefully stops. However, the body has its own mechanisms to break up fibrin or called fibrinolysis. And so the tranexamic acid is, uh, the way that it works is it stops this anti-fibrin um, breakup or fibrinolysis, it stops that process. And so hopefully stabilizing those blood clots, keeping them there so the body is trying to stop uh, bleeding um, and this medication just helps it further by doing that. Using tranexamic acid is a great option for people who potentially can't take hormones or don't want to take hormones. People who are currently trying to get pregnant and are just trying to manage their heavy bleeding menses as they're trying to get pregnant. Now, of course, you don't want to take it while somebody's pregnant. Um, of course, if someone's pregnant and you're having bleeding, please see your doctor. But um, for those menses as somebody's trying because they can't take hormonal pills um, successfully that could potentially alter their ability to get pregnant, this might be a good option. As we discussed previously, tranexamic acid was originally developed for other uses, more specifically acute bleeding, like if someone were to come to the emergency room, they were hemorrhaging from somewhere, they would give this medication through the IV. Now, again, they developed it into a pill form, and since 2009, we've been using this as a potential option um, for uh, menorrhagia or heavy bleeding. And actually I would say it's definitely underutilized. And studies have shown that it might reduce heavy menstrual bleeding by 60% during someone's menses. So the way that you take the pill, it um, comes in pill form, obviously. Um, it's 650 milligrams. And so you take two of those, so 1300 milligrams, three times a day. And this isn't every day. This is just during your heavy menstrual bleeding. So for example, if somebody usually has five heavy days of menstrual bleeding, when they're on their day one, they would start taking this medication. Hopefully it's reducing the heavy bleeding. And hopefully day two, again, if you're still having the heavy bleeding, you still take the medication three times a day. Day three, it's better. The bleeding's light to nothing. You stop taking the medication. It's done its job. Or if it potentially up to five days, you can take this medication or that's what's it approved for. Now, as with any medication, there are potential risks. Side effects of taking this medication would be things like um, nausea or dizziness, maybe even palpitations or diarrhea. Actually, I see that all these quite infrequently all the times that I've used it. Now, theoretically, this medication could increase somebody's risk for blood clots. It is trying to stabilize these blood clots so they're not broken down. There's not great long-term data on this yet, but as of right now and the use of this medication, it appears to be very safe and that risk is extremely low. Now, a big question I often encounter with this medication and how to use it is, can someone take it if they're already taking hormonal medications? There are a few different um, um, groups that might have opposing um, uh, recommendations for it. A lot of people caution with taking this while taking a hormonal medication like estrogen, for example, birth control pills, and this medication at the same time, as it may further, both of those have a slight increased risk of clots. Maybe they could compound increasing somebody's risk of clots. However, it's a discussion, I believe, with the patient. If someone is suffering from severe heavy bleeding um, and it's causing them to go to the emergency room, causing them to get blood transfusions, and you're just kind of trying to buy time to get a decent option or a surgery, it's a discussion. Now, I think ways that it can be used safely is if somebody has taken the hormonal um, medication and they're on their placebo week, someone should be able to take the tranexamic acid safely. Now, a lot of my patients do suffer from spotting bleeding, no matter the cause, whether it's, you know, if someone has spotting for 10 days and it's really annoying, this medication is probably not going to help, help as much. Um, it's more so intended for 
the heavy menstrual bleeding days. If by chance you haven't been offered this medication, I would talk to your doctor. It's a great option. It's helped a lot of people. I've seen it help a lot of my patients personally as an option that most people can take with little to no risk. Tranexamic acid and hopefully these other future medications to help people in these scenarios when it's, it's just a game changer how much it could potentially help them or at least allow the menses to be more manageable. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Little like button right there. Don't mind hitting that, following along, sharing with other people. We appreciate, appreciate having you all. Everyone have an excellent day.